Welcome back to another Elite Ace Aviation video. On today's video, we discuss the two most popular aircraft for both Airbus and Boeing, the 737 MAX and the A320neo. Which one is better, which one generates more revenue for their respective companies, and we let you determine which one you would buy if you yourself owned an airline. Before we get into this video, if you like aviation related content like this, please consider subscribing and giving this video a like. Now let's get into the video. It should come to no surprise that many aviation enthusiasts around the world like to compare the top aircraft in the world, and the A320neo and 737 MAX comparison is no different. What makes this comparison unique is the time period in which the aviation industry is currently a part of, and that being the virus that has had a major impact on commercial aviation. With that being said, both aircraft are the top selling aircraft for each company, and easily their most economical and fuel efficient models making the MAX and the Neo potential lifesavers for not only Boeing and Airbus during this time, but airlines alike. Let's start with the NEO. Airbus have been working on improving the A320 with a program titled the A320 Enhanced, with the main purpose being a redesigned cabin, weight saving options, and the sharklets at the end of each wing. Airbus soon would come to the realization that this would not be enough alone, as throughout the design process, new engine options had been developed promising better fuel efficiency and overall lower operating cost. With this birthed the NEO line of A320s. Since 2010, the Airbus received over 2,000 orders, which is mind-blowing. Why, you ask? Well, this made the NEO the fastest-selling commercial aircraft in history. About the same time Airbus was developing the A320neo, Boeing was also on the hunt for many of the same pieces of the puzzle that Airbus was. Bowen had been researching replacement options for the 737 as well, but the decision to replace the 737 was postponed until 2011. From 2011 to mid-2014, there was still no news on a replacement for the 737 until November 2014, when Bowen announced they would be replacing the 737 by the year 2030 with a new aircraft design. This strategy did not last long as they saw the thousands of Airbus orders that were frankly breaking records, so Bowen had to return to the meeting room to develop a new plan. In August of 2011, Boeing announced they would have approved the 737 MAX project. The MAX's first flight occurred in January of 2016 with an aircraft that promised 14% better fuel efficiency, and coincidentally, the first MAX test flight came only a couple of weeks after the first deliveries of the NEO. So what are the main changes with both aircraft? Well, for the Airbus A320neo, let's start with the winglets. Winglets are 2.4 meter tall wingtip devices that provide operators with the flexibility of either adding an additional 100 nautical miles range or increased payload capability of up to 450 kilograms. Made from lightweight composites, these wingtip devices offer up to 4% overall fuel burn savings. The fuselage, Airbus has improved A320's airframe to ensure high structural reliability, easy maintainability, and greater than 95% airframe spares commonality with the A320. Improved aluminum alloys increase structural life while the extensive use of composite materials save weight and reduce parts. Let's talk about the engine. The NEO program features a choice of two engines. One of those engines is the revolutionary Pratt & Whitney's Pure Power PW1100G and the other is the Leap 1A from CFM. The PW1100G is one of the GTF family engines prepared by Pratt that will power most new generational aircraft, including the A320neo. The Bombardier C-Series, the Embraer E-Jets E2, the Russian-built Ikrit MC-21, and the Mitsubishi MRJ-90. Now let's talk about the 737 MAX. The winglets on the 737 MAX reduce fuel consumption by up to 1.8% compared with today's winglets. These are wingtip extensions which reduce lift, induce drag, and provide some extra lift. The engine is the Leap family of engines is a sole supplier for the Boeing 737 MAX, which will feature the slightly smaller Leap 1B. The fan of the Leap 1B was increased from the 61.8 inch diameter of the CFM 56.7B engine on the 737NG to 69.4 inches. There will also be a new digital regulator for the engine bleed air system, which should improve its reliability. The environmental performance, the quieter 737 MAX has a 40% smaller noise footprint than today's single aisle airplanes and 14% reduction in CO2. The nose landing gear is lengthened by six to eight inches to maintain the required ground clearance. 
Propulsion installation, the MAX, this is the first Boeing single out aircraft to feature both primary and fan duct chevrons. So in conclusion, who is the winner here? Well, one thing we did not mention as we strictly are comparing their performance upgrades from the previous models is the history of the 737 MAX and their accident history. The MAX has now been cleared to fly again after correcting the issues with the MCAS system in which was believed to have caused the previous accidents. But even with this, many are still wary of the MAX. Since the MAX has now been cleared to fly again, airlines are once again placing orders for these aircraft so the MAX appears to have a solid future. Airbus, on the other hand, has an insane production output being able to supply over 60 aircraft per month, where Boeing is also close to that number, although the accidents did halt the production of the MAXs. Looking at the specifics, we can see that the Boeing 737 MAX beats the A320 with a higher MAX payload, 46,040 pounds, and a higher thrust power. The 737 MAX 9 can also be reconfigured into a super-dense 220-seater variant. When it comes to cost, the NEO wins in this category, as this aircraft model is cheaper. But it all depends on what deals the respective airlines make with the mass orders from both Boeing and Airbus. So who wins? Well, in our opinion, it's so tough to call. On one hand, you have the slightly better performance from the 737 MAX with the lower unit cost from the NEO. It's also fair to mention some questionable actions post-accident from Boeing in regards to the investigation into the accidents. In this time in aviation, if cost means a lot up front, especially with the struggling aviation industry, the NEO may be what more airlines turn to. So our personal opinion, Airbus wins here if we are needing to place a large order for our airline. So here is the question for you to answer in the comments below. Which aircraft would you choose if you had your own airline and why? But guys, that'll do it for this Elite Ace Aviation video. And until next time, happy flying.